Hi, good evening. Hi, Mary. Hi, Pedro. Hi, hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. How are nice. You? I'm fine, thanks. Nice to see you all. Hey, Mr. Hi. Pedro. How are you? I'm fine, and you? It's, it's okay. It's a, it's a blessing. Yeah, it's a blessing to be here. The country, <laughs> the country is getting uh, thick and sick, right? <laughs> I think we need to be careful with uh, the virus, right? <laughs> is a function because we don't have a um, never case in that or is yeah we don't, we don't we don't have any case but we need to take care of us maybe i don't know in the do, future right do you know what the problem in this country the people don't follow directions yes the culture <laughs> yeah culture. yeah some people don't like listening to you they don't believe in that because yeah, they don't believe in that because we don't have the problem here yet. But when we have yes. the problem, probably it is going to be too late. <laughs> yeah. For example, some some manufacturing close um, the day for the work in mm -hmm. USA in your home, mm -hmm. and uh, and all the people in the bus for the beach. Yeah. Yesterday it was horrible. It was. Some people it's going to the beach, and I'm like, really? You need to stay it's at home. Oh. It's, it's not vacation. It's yeah. a big problem. Yeah, it is not vacation. That's a problem. But people don't people don't understand because we don't have the problem. Okay, we don't have the problem. But yeah. as the president said, maybe we have the problem, and they haven't identified the people because we don't have the problem yet. Okay. But yeah, if right. people don't take care of you, I mean, if, if they don't take care of themselves, uh, we can be in danger because we have seen other countries, for example, Italy, the United States, Costa Rica, you know, it has a lot of people uh, sick. So we need to take care of, of ourselves. Yes, because it, it's mm -hmm. not saying uh, to see that, the, the far, but it's a different than near. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they say they have more money, yes, but they have more money. And we don't have a, a lot of money, so that will be worse for us. <laughs> but people don't understand that. Some people are like, nah, I don't care. I, I, uh -huh. I'm not feeling sick. Yeah, right now you're not feeling sick. But I don't know, maybe yeah. in the future. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, guys, so yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. We are going to continue. Um, I'm going to do a short review so that the others can come uh, little by little. Okay, so we're going to do a short uh, review. Okay, so on the previous class, we were practicing can and should, and we were saying that we can use can for uh, abilities or things that we are able to do, okay? And also we were learning that we can use should for um, suggestions or recommendations, okay? Um, you were giving me some examples. For example, if I have a lot of money, I can buy a new car. Or if I don't have money, I can't buy a new car. Also, I can use this with another person, okay, he or she. She can buy a new house, uh, he can buy a new house. In this case, I don't change any verb, okay, because I am using a model, okay. Also, uh, the negative would be can't, she can't buy a house, okay. So, you were telling me some examples using can, okay. Uh, hi, Saida, welcome. Uh, also, we were learning. Hi, hi. 
So we were learning how to use should as well. Okay, should. Um, in this case, we were saying that we can use should for recommendations, okay, or suggestions. And the same thing happens with can, okay? You combine that with should and you, you don't have to change any verb, okay? I should buy a new cell phone. Um, I shouldn't buy a new cell phone. My father should fix the car, okay, etc. cetera. Uh, remember that we can use this in affirmative or negative sentence, okay? Uh, also, you were telling me some sentences, for example, what can I do on vacation? You can rest, you can to work, you can travel, you can go to the beach, okay, etc. Uh, what should I do with a thousand dollars? I should travel to Colombia, I shouldn't travel to China, I should buy a computer or a laptop, and I should buy a TV, etc. Okay, you were giving me suggestions. Um, also, we were talking about some recommendations for the virus that we ha we're having right now. Uh, I should wash my hands regularly. That's what you were telling me. And that's one of the recommendations that the government and the Ministry of Health is giving to every single person. You know, we should wash our hands regularly. Okay. Um, we should wear a mask if we are sick. We should wear a mask if you're not sick. If and if that's your possibility, you can also do it. Uh, you should not take medicine without asking a doctor, and you should take vitamin C. Also, you shouldn't travel to an, an infected country. Okay, you may you may have some problems if you do that. Okay. Um. Did you do this part in the platform? Hicieron esta parte en la plataforma. No tuvieron problemas. The one about should and can. Que creo que tenía que poner unos verbos ahí y tenía que adivinar cuál era el verbo. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Tuvieron problemas con, con alguno de estos? I don't try yet. Ah, you haven't tried yet. Okay, but don't worry. When you try tomorrow, yeah, <laughs> tomorrow, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, we were practicing some conversations. Okay, other conversations. Um, you were telling us some problems that you had, and we were giving you some recommendations. Okay, so we were practicing with that. Um, the last thing that we did was uh, explaining health complaints, okay? So I want to see if you practiced during the weekend, okay? So we're going to do a little test to see if you could <laughs> practice. Uh -huh. What are you laughing? <laughs> Did you practice, Saida? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> some, of them, some of them are very easy. Some of them are very easy to identify, okay? There are some others that are a little bit more difficult, okay? But uh, we're going to do a test so that we can see if we can identify that type of vocabulary, okay? So we're going to do a short test and let's see if we can complete it. Okay, give me a second. All right, let's see. Um, urinary, urinary, sorry, urinary tract infection. Uh, infección en las vías urinarias. En las vías urinarias. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice esto de manera contractada en inglés? También le voy a activar los micrófonos porque se los he desactivado, okay? A UTI. Ver. UTI, okay. UTI. De hecho, es la primera... Uh -huh. Es la primera letra de, de, de cada Evil. palabra, ¿ok? Uh -huh. UTI, ¿ok? Urinary Tract Infection. Uh, eh, infección en las vías urinarias, ¿ok? Esa palabra es bastante común en inglés, UTI. Así le describen la gente como cuando tiene esa infección, ¿ok? La cual es bastante común, ¿ok? UTI. UTI. Number two. 
Uh, let's see, Pedro, a strip of cloth that is used to cover an injury on someone's body to protect it. And what do you call um, this? Uh -huh. okay. Let me see. Uh, some. Um, pal, no. Mm -hmm. With some board. So I. Do you remember? No. No? Let's see. Uh, Mary, do you remember? Not teacher. You were telling me something and I think you have the answer. Es una venda, es un vendaje. Ah, uh -huh, es un vendaje. How do you say vendaje in English? Vendaje, I don't know how to remember. Yeah, bandage. Uh -huh. Bandage. Oh, bandage, huh? Okay. Yeah, bandage. Okay. <laughs> Bandage. I'm not bandage. sure. Bandage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bandage. Okay. Let's see this one. A piece of soft, uh, thick cloth or rubber used to protect a part of the body. Uh -huh. How do you how do you call that little piece? Gasas. <laughs> uh huh. But in English, I don't remember. Uh huh. Pad. Pad, uh-huh. Pad, uh-huh. That's the name. Pad, okay. Pad. 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 Mm -hmm. An illness that makes you cough a lot. So you're like, <coughs> uh-huh. A mask. You need a cough drops. <laughs> a mask. A mask. Yeah, but, no, but it, it is an illness. Es una enfermedad, okay? Te la hace toser. Ajá. Creo que ahí está el nombre. Ahí está bastante bien. Ahí está flu. el nombre. Ajá. ¿Flu? No, flu oh. es, es cuando ya tiene otros síntomas. En este caso, le es toser. Cold. No, Cough. Cold, no. Flu. Cough. Ajá. Cough. Ajá. Cough. 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 Eh, a pain in your back. A pain in your back. ¿Qué significaba eso? A pain in your back. Lumbago, para no me en el inglés. Ah, dolor de espalda. Back. Ajá, dolor back de espalda. Head. How do you say hey. dolor de espalda en inglés? Hey. Back. Hey. Backache. Yes. Okay. Backache. Mm -hmm. Backache. Now we're going to match, okay? We're going to match. Let's see. Uh, we have a lot. We have letter A. Uh, it's one of the sudden explosive releases of air um, from the throat, which are difficult to control, but usually stop after a short time. That's letter A. A condition in which your skin is sore and red because you have spent a long time in the sun. Uh, also, okay, do you have sunburn, this one? Yeah, that's very easy. Uh -huh. yeah. Sunburn, because of course, you are burned by, from the sun, okay? Let's see, to cut something into pieces with an axe, knife, or other sharp instrument. Uh -huh. What is letter C? Is the four, C? Number four. Hip, hoop. Chop up. Chop up. Yeah, uh -huh. chop up, uh-huh. Chop Eso up. es como cortarse, oh, okay? Chop uh -huh. up. Okay. Chop and number in letter A, what do you think? Letter number A. one. Hiccup. Number A, number Hic one. Okay. What's what's the meaning of hiccup in Spanish? Hippo. Hippo. Uh huh. Hippo. Exactly. Hiccup. Okay. Hiccup. 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 Así le llamamos en inglés. Hiccup. Okay. Vamos a ver. Letter D. To send air out from the nose and mouth in an explosive way that you cannot Me. control. Uh -huh. Sneeze. Sneeze. Uh -huh. Sneeze. Estornudar. Okay. Sneeze. And finally, ointment. ¿Qué significa ointment? Antes que lo veamos. Ungüentos. Ungüento o pomadas. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. We have the picture here. Ointment. Okay. Ointment. Ointment. Uh -huh. Okay. 
A, B, C, D, E. Okay, perfect. We will continue. Aha, uh -huh, let's see. A pain you feel inside your head. Head headache. Headache. Repeat headache. 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 The next one. A common infectious illness that causes fever and headache. Flu. Sore no. throat. Uh, no, it says that it causes fever, uh, fever, sorry, and headache. And the person mm -hmm. is like, yeah, you know, like it's a flu, flu call. Uh, mm -hmm. A flu or a cold. Or uh -huh. a cold. Okay. Elevated body temperature. Fever. fever. Okay, fever. fever. Okay, fever. Uh, number four, a pain caused by something being wrong with one of your teeth. Yeah, like toothache. Toothache. Uh huh. Toothache. Uh huh. Toothache. 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 Uh huh. And number five, a condition in which your throat is red and feels painful, especially when you swallow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like tragar, swallow. Uh huh. Tragar, but but the pain. Page. Tooth ache Tooth. is the dientes. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Okay. Okay, let's see now true and false. Uh -huh. Let's see to be hurt or damaged or destroyed by fire or extreme heat. Is that faint? <laughs> True or false? Faint. True or false? False. Yeah, that's false. Okay. What is the correct meaning for this? ¿Cuál es el correcto para esto? Burn. Burn. Okay. Cuando se quema en la cocina, burn. Okay. Burn. Burn. Uh -huh. Burn. No sería faint. Let's see number two. A pain in your stomach. Backache? No, false. 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 Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería para el estómago? Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Uh -huh. Stomach ache. Okay. To suddenly become unconscious for a short time. Usually falling down. Faint? True or false? False. No. Oh, true. true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Faint. Okay. Cuando se desmaya sería faint. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, and number four, having or causing itch. Que le pica. Is it itchy? No. Itch. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true? true. Okay. Itchy. Okay, that is true. <laughs> itchy. And number five, to make someone worried, unhappy, or angry. Faint. It's false. Yeah, that's false. Okay, what's the correct one? False. Uh huh. What is the correct one for this? Stresses. I don't know. Upset. Mm, upset. Okay. Upset. upset. Uh huh. Upset. upset. Okay. Upset. upset. Excellent. Okay. Let's check. Yes, one hundred percent. Okay, we have a <laughs> hundred. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so remember, these are some uh, common. <laughs> Uh, health problems that we have, okay, these are the most common ones. Of course, there are more, okay, there are more, but these are just uh, some uh, few ones that we are going to use uh, today. So let me go to the next, uh, to the presentation or to the Word document that we're using. Okay, so I have some questions for you, okay? These are some health complaints. Okay, health complaints. But uh, we are going to or you're going to tell me some of these vocabulary. Quiero que me mencionen algunas de esas eh, algunos de esos problemas de salud. What are the most com What are the most common complaints at school? ¿Cuáles son los que de los que más se quejan en la escuela? What do you think? Flu. Flu. Headache. Headache. Stomachache. Stomachache. Uh -huh. mm. 
Is yeah. it the trip? Flu, flu, sorry, flu, S headache, stomach sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Yeah, that's very common. Okay, nice. Okay, let's see. What are the most common ones at work? Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, when you <laughs> back when, head. When when you don't want to work and you say, you know, boss, I feel bad. You know, I need to go. <laughs> back head. <laughs> Upset. <laughs> upset. <laughs> when you feel upset, okay? Yeah, for example, backache, that is very common. If you work in an Hellcats. office, if you work in an office, backache is very common. Headache yes. also. Mm -hmm. Headache. Pick up. Flu. Flu. Flu too. Nowadays, flu, okay? Nowadays, flu is very common. Uh, hiccup, I think hiccup is very common everywhere. <laughs> it can happen. Yeah. It can happen anytime, right? It can happen anytime. Uh, what about at home, your house? Yeah, sometimes we can have headaches. Flu. Uh, flu, that's very common. Because when one person Boy, has flu, when one person everybody has, flu, has. <laughs> everybody has flu, okay? Yeah. yeah that's very common. Uh, ointment with the baby. Ointment. Uh, okay, nice. Ointment is very common with the babies. Uh -huh. Nice, nice. Third truth. Too. Sore throat, uh -huh. sore throat. Flow, cool, yeah. flu. Yeah, pick up. Okay. Pick up, okay, perfect. Me. All right, check now, up too. A checkup. All right. Uh, we're going to practice a short conversation in which we are using this vocabulary, okay? So listen. Hi, Craig, how are you? Uh, not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in the chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck, that sounds awful. Okay. That sounds awful. <laughs> All right, do you, see, do you see any new words? Do you see any words that you don't understand here? Yeah, yuck, what's the meaning of yuck? Yuck, it's, yuck. Like, uh, it's like you, you know, it's like an expression that you say when you, when you don't like something. It's like you, okay, or yuck, yeah, it's like, oh. What we say in, in, in Spanish, wakala, you know? So that's yak, okay, in English. Uh, yak, uh-huh, yak. Or you, that's another one, you. <laughs> you know, that's very common in, in, in girls, you, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> what about garlic? You know the meaning of garlic? Uh, ajo. Uh, ajo, mm -hmm. yes, okay, ajo. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a uh, whole head of garlic. Una cabeza de ajo, okay. Okay, what else? Any new word? Awful is horrible, verdad? Awful, yeah, that's awful, that's horrible. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Perfect, uh -huh. awful, awful. All right, now you're going to practice, let's see. Uh, Pedro, uh, you are Joan, and, no, sorry, Saida, you are Joan, and Pedro, you are Craig, okay? Let's okay. Do it. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken any anything for it? I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soap. Just shoot up a whole head of garlic and cook it in kitchen stock. Try, try it. It really works. You, that sounds awful. That sounds awful. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, thank you, Mary. You are Joanne, and uh, Luis. You are Craig. Okay. Hi, Craig. How are you? I'm so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. 
Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yeah, that sounds helpful. Yeah, that sounds awful. Okay. So, everybody, let's repeat terrible. 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 Okay. Terrible. Uh -huh. terrible. Uh, let's see. Um, helpful. 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 Uh -huh. helpful. Uh -huh. And awful. 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 Uh -huh. awful. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to see some phrases from this conversation. Okay. And uh, we're going to learn a specific grammar, uh, grammatical structure that we're going to use. Okay. Um, we're going to use infinitive plus complement. What is an infinitive? An infinitive is when we have the verb next to the word to, okay? To, for example, to play, to cook, to watch, to wash, okay? We're going to add only two uh, before the verb, okay? Why or how are we going to use this? Uh, we're going to use this to give, uh, sorry, to ask or to give advice, okay? to ask or to give an advice. And we're going to see some examples here so that you can understand it in an easier way, okay? And for this, we're going to use some phrases, okay? We're going to use some phrases, for example. It is, it is helpful, and after that, you can say any phrase using uh, to and the verb. For example, it is helpful to go to the doctor. It is helpful to drink water, okay? What is the meaning of helpful, people? It ayuda? Is, yeah, yeah, ayuda, okay. Or you can describe it as útil, okay? Es útil Ut or it is... Uh, beneficioso, no? It is beneficioso, okay, yeah. For example, if you are sick, it is helpful to go to the doctor, you know? Yeah. That is something that you should do, okay? That is something that you should do. Okay, so if you see after this phrase, I am using an infinitive, okay? It is helpful to go to the doctor, okay? Um, you, you need to try to use this structure every time that you're writing a, a sentence with this phrase. Cada vez que usted escribe una oración con ese tipo de frases, casi siempre después de esta frase que he puesto en amarillo, siempre pone un verbo, pero que vaya seguido, eh, que vaya tú y después el verbo, okay? It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is helpful to uh, to check your to, to check your email, etc. Okay. Let me give you another example. It is important. It is important. Okay. The same thing. La misma cuestión que antes. It is important, and then to and the verb. It is important to do exercise. It is important to eat healthy food. Okay, what are some other important things in life in general? Can you tell me? It is important. It is important to take a field. It is important to take a field. To take a field. Uh huh. Okay. It is, it important. is important to study English. Ah, okay. <laughs> it is important to study English. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. One more. What is something else that it is important in life in general? It is important to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. How often? One, How often? One, uh -huh. a, one time a year? So once twice a year. Maybe. Or okay. twice a year. Once or twice a year. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Uh -huh. It is important to go to the doctor once or twice a year. Okay. What about helpful in general? What is something else that it is helpful? For example, uh, sometimes it is helpful to have a car, you know? Sometimes, not all the time. When it's too much traffic, maybe not. But in general, I think it is helpful to have a car. 
What else? What do you think? Um, think about the benefits, okay? Of it is something. helpful to save. It is helpful to save what? Money. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, yeah. It is helpful to save money, yeah, because mm -hmm. sometimes you have an emergency yeah. and you, you need some money, okay? Yeah, what else? What are some other things that are helpful? It is, mm -hmm. it is helpful to be careful. Ah, when? Always. <laughs> with the coronavirus. <laughs> ah, with the coronavirus. Okay. It's okay. Good. Okay. Yeah, it is, it is helpful to be careful, okay? Because later you're going to be like, no, I'm so sick. Mm -hmm. Did you take care of yourself? <laughs> and the last one, it is helpful to what? Another thing that it is helpful in general. It is, it is helpful to walk a couple of minutes every day. Ah, it is helpful to walk a couple of minutes every day. Yeah, okay. For your health, it is it is it is helpful. Okay, that is uh, very helpful. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, we are missing one more. Okay, but yeah, remember it is helpful, and then you say to, and then you say the verb. Uh, it is important to, and then you say the verb. Okay. Uh, the next one. It is a good idea. It is a good idea. It is a good idea to have a computer. What else? What is something else that it's a good idea to do? Mm -hmm. Is it, it is, is a good a idea? Good... Yeah, tell me, Mary. It is a good idea to cook healthy food or to cook? Uh, uh to what? Repeat it. Repeat cook, it uh, cooking healthy food. Ah, it is. It is a good idea to cook. Healthy. Healthy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. Saida, tell me. It is a good idea to read a book. Ah, yeah, to read a book. Okay, perfect. What else? What is something else that it is? It is a good idea to uh, make ex or to do exercise. Okay. Every day, right? Yeah, okay. it is a good idea to do exercise every day. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. Nice. So this is how we use these type of phrases. Okay. After we have these phrases, it is important to use to and the verb uh, in the simple way. Okay. In the simple way. Do you have any questions until here, until this part? No. All right. Eh, ¿Cuál es la estructura de, de, de la oración, teacher? The structure of grammatical, the sentence. Yeah, um, sometimes you have the, like the phrase, depending on the phrase that you have, plus two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus the verb. Or uh, some people call this uh, the infinitive. Infinitive. Okay, which is to plus verb and then uh the complement you know so it, it it depends it depends on the on the type of phrase that you're using mm -hmm. for example it is helpful and then the infinitive which is to go to helpful have. a good idea and the other word it all the Important. time is in the first it's in the first in the sentence never in the end yeah in this case, okay. in this structure, it is important to have it in the present. Sorry, in the in okay. the beginning, at the beginning. In uh -huh. the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, we're going to do some exercises for practicing this. Okay. So yeah, but usually that that's a structure. When you have these phrases at the beginning, you have to use an infinitive. That means mm -hmm. to plus the verb. Okay. Two plus the verb. What is the other? Um, um, what is the other case? What is the opposite of infinity? Do you know? 
Do you know the opposite of the of the infinity? Because no, inf opposite. infinitive is when we have two plus verb, and the other one is gerund. Gerund. When we have the verb plus ing. Ah, the gerund. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Give me a second because my computer is kind of spatial. Okay, there you go. So gerund plus, uh, sorry, it's it's equal to verb plus ing. For example, in infinity we can have uh, to take, but in gerund we can have taking. To taking. Uh -huh. Not taking, only taking. Uh -huh. Only two, no. No, only two, no. Two is only oh. for infinity. Uh -huh. Infinity, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is only for infinity. In this case, for gerund we Ingeron have ing. 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 Uh -huh. ing. Mm -hmm. In this case, for this type of sentences, we are using uh, infinity. We are not using gerunds, okay? We are not using gerunds. This one, no. Okay, that is only for you to, to see the difference, but that one is not the one that we are using, okay? Mm -hmm. We're using the infinity. Mm -hmm. Some people mix it. Algunas personas que los, que los, que los confunden y dicen to, to having, to saving, o cosas así, pero... Ya mezclar los dos es un solo relajo, entonces es siempre que usa o solo uno o solo, ¿ok? So to take o taking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. So, yeah, but let's remember only this part, you know? It is helpful too, it is important too, uh, it is a good idea too. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, let's see. Then you're going to give me some recommendations or suggestions, okay, or advices for the different illnesses that I'm going to show you, okay? Uh, remember, you can use it is helpful to, it is important to, and it's a good idea to, okay? You have to use those three phrases to give me some recommendations, okay? For example, number one, what can I do for a headache? What do you think? Uh -huh. It's a good idea to take a pill or you yeah. resting okay it is a good idea to take a pill okay nice i like it another recommendation it is a good idea to go to the doctor ah i, I we're going to change it we're going to write it is important ah. yeah to go to the doctor yeah because i don't know maybe maybe something bad is happening to me and i don't know right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay nice what else? What is another recommendation for me? What can I do for a headache? Remember, it is helpful, it is important, or it is a good idea. Uh -huh. It is helpful. It is helpful. To have a medicine. Uh, to have medicine in the house, right? Because sometimes, yeah. yeah, in your backpack, in your purse, I don't know. Some people have uh, medicine around because, you know, for a headache, maybe it's not something too complicated. So it is helpful to have medicine in the house. Mm -hmm. What else? Any other? It is important to take a rest in your house. Ah, it is important to take a rest uh, in the house, okay? Uh, I have a question. Do you drink Coca-Cola when you have a headache, people? No. no. Coffee. I drink coffee. Ah, you drink coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it is helpful to drink coffee, probably. Okay. Yeah, because I heard, I know a little history for Coca-Cola. At the beginning, Coca-Cola was uh, created as medicine for, for a headache. <laughs> And that's why some people, uh, for example, in my case, if I have a headache, I drink a Coca-Cola. And that helps me, that helps. Me. Some people say that it is helpful to drink a Coca-Cola. Because at the beginning, Coca-Cola was a medicine. It was not a drink. It was not a popular drink, you know? That is true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that is what some people say. However, Coca-Cola- It's for the caffeine. Yeah, it's for the caffeine, exactly. It's like coffee. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is mm -hmm. like coffee. Mm -hmm. 
that's mm -hmm. why but you know it, it can be dangerous for some people because you know sometimes they cannot drink sweet things so you, it is important to take care of that or to pay attention to that detail you cannot give coca-cola to everybody <laughs> okay perfect okay. any other recommendation for this or that's it breathe is helpful helpful uh, to breathe it is el it and is relax <laughs> Ah, it is helpful to relax. Yeah, maybe you're stressed, right? Or or breathe, because yeah. when you have a headache, you not breathe very well. Ah, exactly. And after that, okay. if you breathe slowly, can I help you? Ah, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is helpful to relax and to breathe. Okay. It is yeah. Okay, relax. Yeah. Meditation. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yoga meditation, mantras. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Namaste. Okay. All right. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see the next one. Uh, what should I do for a stomach ache, people? What should I do for a stomach ache? If I have a stomach ache right now, don't tell me, teacher, stop the class. No, oh, I, mean, I have to, have to continue. With it. I need money. <laughs> so, what should I do for a stomach ache? Remember, it it's is helpful. Take, it is important to take the medicine. It is uh, important. It is helpful to drink uh, Pepto-Bismol. Ah, okay. <laughs> Pepto-Bismol. I don't know how to write that. I think it is like this, right? Pepto. Right? Pepto. Like yeah. It? Yeah. Or, or Pepto with P. Pepe. Or Pepto. I don't remember. Like this? I don't know, the, the pink liquid, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. It is helpful to drink Bepto as well. I mean, the pink liquid. What else? You were telling me another another recommendation? It's P, teacher. P. Uh, P. Uh, P. P. Pep. Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank Pep. you. Okay. I, I don't drink that as well. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I look at the goggles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you were telling me an alka seltzer also, right? It is helpful yeah. to yeah. drink an alka seltzer. Oops, an alka seltzer. I usually drink a uh, tea de menta. What is it? Te de menta. Ah, uh, mint tea. Mint tea, yeah. Uh, it is. Helpful. Yeah, it is a good idea. Yeah. To drink. Uh, mint, mint tea. tea, okay. Yeah, mint tea. Yeah, perfect. It and is help. important to drink liquid. Ah, okay, like water and so I don't know, soup and soup. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes maybe you are, you have eaten only uh, hard things, Lic you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, so maybe you need some liquids. Uh -huh. Don't drink. Or maybe do you hang hungry? <laughs> oh, you're hang you're hungry, right? Ah, oh, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's important to eat. <laughs> yeah. Don't because... eat beans. Yeah. Don't eat beans. Ah, <laughs> okay. So it is important. Okay, Not that's a eat good one. Beans. Yeah, in this case, if you want to have it in negative, you need to write not to eat beans okay no mm -hmm. okay. yeah thank you for that because we didn't see the the negative part okay so if you want to use negative you need to use not before two okay uh-huh uh-huh okay yeah perfect any last recommendation for a stomach ache mm -hmm. it is important to stay at home okay nice it is important to stay at home. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see the next recommendation. What can I do for a flu, people? What for a flu. For a flu, yeah. I have a flu right now. So what it is can helpful I do? to drink or to eat a soup, chicken soup. Ah, it is important to drink, well, to eat, I think. Chicken soup. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Another recommendation. 
Uh -huh. What can I do for a flu? Maybe it's a good idea to rest in uh -huh. your house. Okay, it is a good idea to rest. Is it, is it a good idea to, to uh, eat ice cream? No. Mm, okay. It is a good idea not to eat ice cream. Teacher, come on, teacher. Ice cream is so bad for you when you have a flu. Okay. Another thing? Pedro, you have had flu. Tell us what are some recommendations. Um, it's um, a good idea to um, drink water. Yeah, that's important, okay? It is a good idea to drink water. I have heard that it is helpful to drink um, honey and lemon. Um, is it true? Yes. Yes, right? For my mom, yes. <laughs> yeah, my mom gives me the same. She gives me <laughs> honey and lemon, you know, in a, in a, in a spoon, in a cucharada, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, drink it. Okay, Wrong. drink it. I'm like, uh, <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Wrong lemon and honey. Excuse me? Wrong lemon and honey. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> ah, wow. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> All right, perfect. Any <laughs> last recommendations for this? No? Okay, and the last one. What should I do to avoid, uh, oh, well, we have a lot. Uh, what should I do to avoid having coronavirus? Mm -hmm. use, uh, stay in your house. <laughs> okay, it's it important, is important to use masks. To wear mask, uh -huh. to wear mask, okay. To wear, it's important to wash your hands. Okay, it is important to wash your hands. It is important to stay at home. Uh -huh. What else can I do? To it is helpful to drink vitamin C. Vitamin C? Yes. Okay, uh, I would say it is a good idea. It is not necessary, you know, but maybe it's a good idea to drink vitamin mm -hmm. C. Okay, vitamin C. Uh huh. It is uh, helpful um, to. Uh, to drink. No saludarse, teacher. ¿Cómo se ah, llama? okay. Uh, not to greet other people. Mm -hmm. Ah, not to greet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or not to shake other people's hands. Not to hands. shake the hand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not to shake other people's hands. Uh -huh. Not to shake other people's hands. I will write. <laughs> it is important not to shake. Shake. Teacher, what do you say? Obedecer. Ah, obedecer what? Eh, the rule. Ajá, uh -huh, the recommendation. Ah, it is it important, is important to, to follow the recommendations. Ah, rules. Ah, follow. Ajá, uh -huh, to rule the rules or the recommendation. Recommendation, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, perfect, ajá. Uh -huh. Follow. It is in follow, follow the rules or the recommendation, okay? Excellent, okay, nice, nice. Okay. So I have a couple of questions more, but we're going to do that uh, on the next class, okay? I just want to clarify uh, what you have to do for, let me see. Yeah, here we have it. For the exercise that you have, um, 2.6, okay? Because that's the exercise that we are doing right now. Uh, it says, read the following questions and write the best advice for each health problem. Remember to use the infinitive complement, okay? You don't need to rewrite what it's in brackets. Lea las siguientes preguntas, escribe el mejor consejo para cada problema de salud. Recuerde hacer el complemento infinitivo, o sea, el to 
más el verbo. ¿okay? Uh -huh. No necesitas reescribir todo lo que es entre paréntesis. ¿okay? Sino que eh, puede ser una frase o puede incluir parte de ella, pero no es necesario que escriba todo. Eh, igual, solo va a complementarlos. Después de important, solo va a poner to y el verbo. No va a tener que escribir toda la oración. ¿okay? Entonces, ahí tenemos, en, el, en la mayoría de casos, falta el verbo. Por ejemplo, yeah. what should I do for a sore throat? What should it's I do important. for a... It's important. To drink, or to drink? to drink or to take? Or to take. Ajá, pueden intentar con ambas. To drink vitamin C or to take vitamin C. ¿Ok? Ahí sería que usted eh, va intentando. Si quieren, vamos a hacer la primera para ver qué tal, qué tal nos va aquí. Eh, to take vitamin C. Vamos a ver qué tal nos va. Creo que hice la última, así que me la van a ver ahí. Ah, no dice nada, no dice nada, no dice nada. <risa> ok. Ah, no me la agarro. Vamos a ver. To take. Se lo pongo to take. Or to drink. No. No escriba vitamina C. Only to drink, teacher. Vamos a ver. Bien. No. No. Take. Uh, Take on me. Tampoco. A ver. Mil. Melted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo me acuerdo que así la estaba haciendo. Me acuerdo cuál había puesto. It's important to, to take the drink. Para la palabra que voy a hacer con este. Something getting a car and driving. To. Había otro verbo, permítanme. Ahorita les decía. Vamos a ver. To buy. Ajá, como aquí me parecen eh, ingerir, ingest, to drink, or to consume. Vamos a ver. Tampoco, consume. Tampoco. Uy, está raro esto. Tampoco. Es que lo que se me, me hace raro es que por lo menos va, por lo menos, what should I do for a cough? It's a good idea to take some medicine. Y aquí incluí eh, la parte que hacía some medicine. Y me lo dio correcto. Entonces, no sé qué estará pasando con Vitamin C. Maybe have a problem in the platform. Ajá. Bueno, por lo menos traten, siguen, traten de seguir eh, intentando. Y igual yo voy a seguir intentando a ver cuál sería. Para ahí yo después se las, se, las, se, las, se las paso por ahí. ¿Ok? Pero sí traten de hacer las demás okay. ustedes para, para ver qué tal va. Igual puede ser que algún okay. verbo no, no lo esté poniendo correctamente. Ahí si fuera necesario que este, use el traductor, pero solo para la palabra, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, tomar, y ahí tal vez le aparece una lista de, de diferentes palabras que se puede usar para tomar. No solamente take or drink, ¿ok? Así que igual, eh, si se fijan, ya hice dos por acá. Para que vean que está bien fácil, solo tenemos que ver cuál es el verbo correcto, ¿ok? So, ok. Thank you so much, guys. Muchas gracias a todos por haber estado acá. Uh, have a good night and see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow, teacher. Night. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Night.